What I've got right here is the small rig cold shoe adapter. You can see the cold shoe adapter is just a tiny little piece of machined aluminum with a single screw nut, whatever you want to call it, sticking out right here. This keeps your device from sliding all the way through. So here is a cold shoe type of device and you can see that it just slides in like so and stops and then you can screw this down and tighten it up. The nice thing about this is that it's a lot lower profile than the units I was using in the past. This is another type, but it's plastic with a thumb screw on it. And it's a little bit thicker, as you can see side by side, than the other unit. And it's a little bit less durable because it is made out of plastic. These two are about the same price. You can find this for around seven to nine dollars. This is about nine dollars. So the small rig unit is a little bit better deal because of the build quality. Now you can see right here on this rig, it doesn't take up much space. Whereas if I were to use the same thing, it sticks out quite a bit further. When you're not using a device, it doesn't get in the way on this Veravon cage. I can actually hold this comfortably without having this large device sticking out the side of my rig. And when I need to use it, it's there. I can attach these in a few different places and really have things ready to go. So to attach these, basically there's just a hole through the center comes with this little baggie full of a few different quarter 20 screws and you simply screw that on to your device through the center and attach it that way. If you're using a small rig device there are two extra screws that secure it so it doesn't twist. I didn't really have an issue with that. I can't twist this at all while trying to move it so it's pretty solid. These are definitely something to consider if you are building your first rig, building a new rig, or trying to find some more mounting space for your rig in general. They're from Small Rig. There'll be links in the crotch bar below too where you can pick this guy up as well as this guy if you're interested and a little more on this in depth over at DSLRFilmNoob.com. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.